we are going to pump you up two and a half tons coming at you right now. Welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Gears, the channel that's for spirituality, fitness, and automobiles. My name is Rick, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hey, take a moment and subscribe. Just click the little button below. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for sticking with us. Today, we're going to be talking about a floor jack, Performance Tools 2.5 Ton Garage Jack. Now, some people may say, you know, why would I buy an inexpensive floor jack? Well, there's many reasons, but let's, let's think of just a couple. Now, I like to have my tires rotated, and in having tires rotated, it can cost anywhere from $20, $25 and up to have four tires rotated. Well, with a floor jack that cost about $60, I can do that myself, and I can do it quite safely. Now, there's other things that I can do uh, besides change tires. I can fix flats, for example, rather than using the old bumper jack, which is a little bit, well, which is very unsafe, or a scissors jack, which can be rather clumsy as well. This is very easy to use, and I'll show you how to use it in just a moment. But really, you know, a lot of times as beginning mechanics, uh, you know, home mechanics, I should say, um, having this around is quite handy. I want to do a brake job. I want to change the pads. I want to change the calipers or the rotors. Whatever I want to do, I can do that. Now, combine that with some other uh, things to give you additional safety, like jack stands, for example. I can start doing my own oil changes if I like. And Again, this will begin to pay for itself uh, very, very quickly. So let's take a look at a floor jack. I think everybody has seen one. It's very simple to operate. It's up and it's down. This particular one is from Performance Tools. Um, it's, again, a basic consumer model. It's not super expensive, $60. There's some that are a lot more expensive and can lift a lot more as well. You can get three ton, you can get four ton, and higher. Uh, you can get some that are a little bit less. You can get the two ton jacks. But in this particular case, my car, the Ford Mustang, weighs in at about 3,500 pounds. Well, I'm not going to be lifting the whole thing up all at once. I want to have a tool that will give a bit of tolerance to how much I'm lifting. Again, safety is going to be key. Now, speaking of safety, what I want to make sure, I want to emphasize as much as possible, do not go underneath your vehicle if you're only using a floor jack. Please, please, please use jack stands. Use other safety devices that are certified for their use. Okay? So a word to the wise is sufficient. In terms of using the jack, what you want to do is make sure that you first locate it in the proper position to safely raise and lower your vehicle. Just go on the internet and you can Google your car and jack positions and you will find the points that you will place the floor jack in order to lift a corner and then where to place jack stands to support the vehicle. Now, right up above there, you can see one for my Ford Mustang. I'll get it right there. And you can see the positions, the four positions for the floor jack and then all the positions for the jack stand. So Google that, that'll help you. And one of the things that I also do is I can run my hand, uh, you can see it, run my hand along the edge of my car and you can feel the seam, uh, the welding seam, and there's usually a notch cut out just behind the front wheel and just in front of the rear wheel. So that's another easy way to tell where the jack would go. So here, how do we use this? Well, this particular jack has a base of five inches so you need at least five inches of clearance and it will raise about 10 
to 10 and a half inches. So I can actually raise my car up a total of 15 inches or up to a height of 15 inches. It's easy to use one of these. I really don't need to show you how to do it, but hey, it's a review. All right, so let's do this. Let's take this over to the car and we'll jack the, uh, the car up a little bit and then lower it again so you can see how you actually use it. Okay, we're now at the side of the car. I'm laying down on my side. Um, I felt for the notches and I'm going to pivot this little cup so that this will fall right in the notches and on the ridge on the body of the car. And we'll whoops, turn this clockwise and start jacking it up here and just making sure that this matches. You want to make sure that you're not on the trim. And there we go. Let me get up here. Ah, arthritis. Gotta love it. And that's how you jack the car up and how you use this. And to go down, make sure you let it down easy. And you're done. Okay, now that we're back, uh, well, you can see it was very simple to, to use this. And uh, it's actually not that bad. This particular model is two and a half tons. Again, it's from Performance Tool, and it's just a consumer uh, rated floor jack. So if you are a professional, and you're using the jack multiple, multiple, multiple times a day, you probably don't want to go with something like this. Uh, what you want to do is go with something quite a bit sturdier and going to be a lot more expensive. But this particular one is built well. Uh, it is form steel. Looks like it's been done in a brake press. Uh, it's, it is constructed very well. So for the average home garage mechanic, this is going to serve you for many, many years. Again, wipe it down, keep it oiled. Um, there is uh, a reservoir in here that you can refill if need be, but if you take care of these things, you don't abuse them, it's going to give you many years of good use. So I actually like it. It comes with a, a handle so you can easily carry it. I don't know how much I fully trust it since it is plastic. Um, just be careful when you're using that because it just slides over these, these bolts right here. And, uh, you know, but it does have that. Uh, it's smooth operation, smooth up, smooth down. Uh, it, it works as it should. So at this moment, until I can get more time using it, I'm going to give it five stars. Now, that's about it. Uh, again, the link to this is down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, done so, and leave a comment if you will. I'd like to know what you're thinking, and if there's anything particular that you'd like to see, please let me know. With that, may the Lord richly bless you. Make it a great day right here on Blood, Sweat, and Gears.